All right, in this video, students are gonna be dividing a unit fraction by a whole number, and really, rather than just learning the rule, uh, we're gonna represent it using a visual representation, a tape diagram, and from that visual representation, students are likely to discover the rule. So let's get started. So the idea of one half divided by three is to really say, let's represent one half and then cut it into three parts. That's basically the meaning of division. So I'm gonna draw a tape diagram, but I'm kind of gonna draw a, kind of a tall tape diagram and represent, here's one half, all right? And of course, there's one half. And uh, so let's, let's shade that in. Let's do, oh, let's do green. So there is my one half, right? And then it says this one half divided by three means I need to take this half and cut it up into three parts. And I'm just gonna continue all the way across. And so one half divided by three is one half cut into three parts. And so I wanna look at this one part right here, this piece right here. So that's one half divided by three. And I can see that that one little piece is one sixth of the whole thing. Remember this is one whole thing. This is one half cut into three parts. So one half divided by three is equal to one sixth. That's this piece right here. So just doing another example of that. So one fifth divided by four. So here's my whole. So that, that represents one whole. And I'm gonna chop it up into fifths. So there is my one fifth right there. There's my one fifth. And I wanna take that one, oopsies. Uh, let's see. And I'm going to take that one-fifth, and I want to chop it up into four parts. That's what that means. One-fifth divided by four means take the one-fifth and chop it up into four parts. So I'm going to chop it up into four parts. So right here is my one-fifth that has been chopped up into four parts, and I want to know the size of one part well, that's one little piece out of a total of 20. So that is now officially 1 20th. So 1 fifth cut into four parts gives me 1 20th right there. And our last example, 1 third divided by 6. I'm going to kind of make this a little bit taller this time. 1 third. So there is my one third. And I need to, I'm gonna shade it in just to help us remember that that is our one third. And it says we're supposed to cut it into six equal parts. So one third cut into six equal parts. So there we go. That's not exactly equal, but close enough. And there's my one third cut into six equal parts. And I want to know the size of one of those little parts right there. And what is that one little piece right there? Well, it's six times three is 18. So there's 18 pieces. So one third divided by six is one eighteenth. So that wraps up this lesson where students discover the rule that uh, to figure out what does one-fourth divided by three look like, it's going to be take that one-fourth, you're going to chop it up into three pieces, which turns them into twelfths. So we've got that multiplying by the reciprocal kind of thing going on there. So uh, happy dividing.